Good day. It's good to see you again. I have another story to read to you. Of yet another preacher from India. You might wonder why so many lately are from India. Well, we have a lot of preachers in India. Uh, there's over a billion people living there, and no missionaries are allowed in India legally at this point. So the Indians are going to be reached. They're going to be reached by the Indians. And by the way, Indians live in most every country of the world. So this is a way for us to get the gospel all around the world. If you can win India to Christ, the Indians will win the rest of the world. So that's our, that's our uh, task right now, to see how many of them we can get saved, get trained for the ministry, and fund them so they can get out there and win their own people to Christ. This is a brother named Bariti, not Burrito, but Bariti, Kanda Babu, and his number is 173. Now that number tells me we've been working with this brother for many, 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 many years. He says, I was born into a wealthy family of a high caste. We often entertain many politicians and important people in our home. In the course of time, a pastor began to visit us, and during his conversations, I was given much to think about. One day, my sons were killed, and I began to dream. Now, he doesn't tell us how many sons, how they were killed. It's just, you can imagine the impact it made on his life. So he says, I began to drink. When we, were called for the, or when we called for the pastor, he came and told us about Jesus, and we were saved. Though my family disowned us, we spent all I had in building a chapel and giving to the poor. I began to study God's Word, and at the same time worked as an assistant to a health official. My heart was burdened to preach, so my wife and I began to pray about God's calling. We began a church in our home, and since then, I have started two other churches. There are two men serving as pastors in two of the churches whom I personally train for the ministry. Already, God has given us more than 300 souls, and 95% of them have already received baptism. We have been forgotten by our family, and we're considered to be no more. Uh, he's, he's saying that they are dead to their family because they accepted Christ. Our only survival is from the offerings of our poor church members. Often life is difficult, not like it was before I knew the Lord, but we will continue to serve him and look for our reward in the next life. We are grateful to you for the support you offer us, and we will not squander your resources. Pray that we will be effective in our ministry and that we will see our families come to know Jesus as we do. Now, since we received his application so many years ago, he and his wife have continued to be faithful to the Lord in all their, in all their service. In that time, they've led, or he has led, 1,276 people to Christ. And those are mostly adults. Of those, 1,163 have been baptized. That's easily 90% of them. He has gone out to other villages to evangelize. In fact, he has evangelized 95 villages. You think about that. Most of us Christians here in America, we won't even evangelize 95 homes or 95 people in our lifetime. He has evangelized 95 villages. And in India, a village could be as many as 20 or 30,000 people. What we would call a city, they call a village. Oh, and by the way, out of those villages he's evangelized, he has been successful in planting churches in 55 of them. So this is a man who lost a high-class way of life, lost his entire family, lost his sons to death, and he's been serving God faithfully all these years. This is the kind of man we like to encourage believers here in America and elsewhere who have funds to help, whether it be a monthly support of $50 or, or a monthly support of $35 or just a one-time offering. This is a brother that can very, very effectively use whatever you'd give him to reach out and win folks to Christ that you and I will never have the opportunity to meet or witness to. So again, his name is Bariti, and easier to remember, his number is 173. So follow the directions at the end of the video, and you can learn how you can help him out if you so desire. God bless you. I hope you'll consider doing it, and we'll see you with another story next time.